What's up gamers? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three ways, three, that you can get shiny Cinderace in your game in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, the first way is going to be basically by being available and ready to do the event. Now, this event might not be available once some of you are watching this video, but that's why we have other ways in the video on how to do that. Now, someone awesome from our Discord named Ori dropped this amazing graphic on how to do the Cinderace seven star rage, which is pretty much what we followed. A little modification though, uh, we just added on the support characters focus sashes so that when the Cinderace does some crazy buff ups, we're able to knock it out. That's the only adaption we did. So here is my footage of what we did pretty much. So we did turn one. We had Armor Rouge go for a psychic terrain. We had three fake tears go out on the field. Then we had two helping hands on Armor Rouge as well as an attack boost. And Armor Rouge did a big hit on Cinderace. It started to glitch out. It boosted back its health just a little bit. And then we kept getting knocked out because it started to boost up, boost up. But because we added focus sashes on our Pokemon, we were able to come back and chip away its health and eventually get it. And I caught mine in a level ball, which is going to be a big deal when it comes down to breeding, because that level ball is going to be passed down to all the future score bunnies that we're going to get, which is essentially going to be the first way. Do the raid and start to breed. Once you get your Cinderace from the raid, you can immediately start getting to breeding with a ditto. In my case, I have a ditto over here, and this is a Masuda ditto. You can check out our Masuda method ditto video over here where we talk about how we're going to use our Discord to help everyone get Masuda. So if you want to get a shiny Cinderace fast, that is going to be the way in order to do so. So what you want to do is you want to head over to Alfernada. And once you're in Alfernada, you're going to see this fancy restaurant over here. These fancy restaurants usually have level two power items. And we're going to scroll down here and look for something that gives us egg power too, which is going to pump out eggs a lot faster. So what you want to do is pay for that. And that's going to cause your egg power level two to go up. And the other ones really don't matter. Once you're done with all that, just go ahead and open up a picnic. Once your picnic is open, just wait about three minutes and you should have a max about 10 eggs or so. And I should have a bunch of them in here. One, two, <laughs> there's another one, three, four. Five. Okay, I'm just going to collect all my eggs and let's get hatching. Okay, egg number one. Wait, what? <laughs> no way! It's a, wait, that's the first one! Oh my gosh, no way! Oh my goodness, there's no way that just happened to me. I just finished the raid, dude. I just... <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I guess now I just hatch the other ones because I like making these thumbnails with a bunch of Cinderace and Score Bunnies in it. Okay, next Score Bunny. Score Bunny number four. Score Bunny number five. If you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Helps out the channel a lot and I really do appreciate it. Okay, so while I'm in my area to take my thumbnail, check it out. This is the beautiful shot we're gonna try to figure this out on. Let me talk to you about some of the rates when it comes to breeding. So. If you are just breeding eggs alone without any shiny charm, no Masuda method, you're looking at a one out of 4,096 chance of that egg becoming a shiny. When you have just the shiny charm alone, you're pretty much looking at one out of 2,048 to be a shiny score bunny. When you're using just the Masuda method, that is gonna be a one out of 683 chance of that score bunny becoming a shiny. Now, if you have the Shiny Charm and Masuda method together, that is going to be a 1 out of 512, which is pretty much how I was able to get my Egg 1 Score Bunny, which, which worked. I, I was using both Shiny Charm and Masuda method. Listen, it's not going to be that lucky. Last time I did a Charmander one, it took over 600 plus eggs. So uh, this was just a little bit of luck. Now, for those people who maybe have missed the Cinderace raid, or for those who have never played Pokemon Sword and Shield and don't have a Cinderace maybe sitting in Pokemon Home, this is going to be the best method, and that's going to be going into the Union Circle and doing one with your friends. So what you want to do, and I know a lot of people say they don't have friends. Listen, don't worry. I have a Discord where people are very nice, and they'll be able to help you out with this. So don't worry. I will make sure to have the Discord linked in the description. You can join the Discord, and we can have ways of doing it. But once you are in a group so what you're gonna do is they're gonna join into a world together and what we're gonna do is grab our egg sandwich together here so we have egg power now you're gonna have to set up a picnic so go ahead set up your picnic and what your other player needs to have with them is a pokemon that is either compatible with cinderace which means it's gonna be the same egg group or just have a ditto now the cool part about multiplayer breeding is that they don't have to own the pokemon you have which means 
All you both have to do now is simply just wait and guess what's going to start showing up in the basket for both players? Well, they're going to be score bunny eggs for both players to benefit from. And that's going to be the super cool part. And there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with multiplayer breeding. So that way, the Pokemon Violet player or the person who doesn't have the game will be able to grab uh, a Pokemon egg. See, there's my egg. There you go. And that's two eggs right in that little recording. And, and, the, and the Violet player will also be able to go ahead and grab some eggs from that basket which they're doing right now. And everyone is going to be able to benefit and get score bunnies. That is the trick on how to do it. If you are late for the raid, you don't use Pokemon Home, or you haven't played a previous game where you're able to transfer it over to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And the cool part is because I caught mine in a level ball, all the babies that the Pokemon Violet player will have will also be in level balls which is really nice and the third and final way which i know some people don't like doing because it's a pay paying method is going to be pokemon home which basically means you're going to have to own sword or shield catch a score bunny in there if you if you did shiny hunting before and download pokemon home which you can simply do from the nintendo eShop. just log into the eShop and look at pokemon home and successfully download into your game and when the compatibility is there in the spring for this, it'll be available. And if you're watching this in the future, then you can simply just transfer over your 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 Pokemon. That's it. So yeah, just go to the eShop, type in Pokemon Home over here. Uh, it should show up easily on the screen and they have like payment plans and all that stuff. But there's pretty much Pokemon Home. You can also put it on your mobile app, which is pretty cool. I have one on my iPhone, so it's pretty convenient to organize my Pokemon from my phone. And um, yeah, there it is, Pokemon Home. So just go in there, uh, make sure your game's closed out when you are in Pokemon Home. It'll link up the save data once it's compatible and you'll be able to bring over your Score Bunny or Cinderace into the game, whether it's shiny or non-shiny, just it'll be compatible to breed with. And now you know all three ways on how to get yourself a nice shiny Cinderace in the game. Could be four if they added DLC that has it in it. If you wanna check out this video, click on this one over here. I hope you appreciate this video and I will see you guys in the next one.